afternoon everyone welcome to an extremely windy juma private game reserve i'm sure you've already heard about the wind from steve but if you haven't it is really windy yes but the sun is shining so we're not going to complain too much we're going to try and hide from the wind as much as we can but otherwise we're going to bask in the sunshine good afternoon my name is lauren and i have mr beaks on camera that is bk but we call him beaks in camp we're sitting at a dam called treehouse dam not much is going on but i am just biding my time because we are about to go on an adventure to find a hiding we're just going to try and then at least we answers and try and take a step forward to figuring out actually what is going on with the Juma clan. I'd really love to see them. It was very active this morning. But as many of you know, I haven't been yet, so I don't really know how it's going to work down there. Okay, we have come to a termite mound and it's a very lovely looking termite mound. Perfect entrance, perfect decor with all the trees. Hmm. Oh, hello. <laughs> I think, everyone, we have Miss June and her little June bug. It is so good to see spotted hyenas. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> She's not trying to eat her cup, everyone. She is just trying to get it back in the day and I think. <laughs> June. <laughs> there we go. Cub can walk. June has the most beautiful face, she really does. So much is happening here right now, Swazi has arrived. I don't know these two guys, you're gonna have to help me out a bit. You are going to have to assist me. But Swazi's here, Swaz, my girl. Swazi has the biggest space in my heart ever. Had a lot of endearing encounters with that boy stroke girl. <laughs> Look at this. was fascinating. That was a lot of dominance over June, all three of them. Oh goodness, we've just had quite a, an interesting encounter now. This uh, beautiful elephant bull has just passed us. Uh, it's going to be a bit difficult for us to get him on the camera. He's already passed. I thought uh, potentially he was going to try and chase his male lion away. And this male lion, as you can see, his eyes are wide open. And slowly he's going to settle down now. But yeah, an elephant just walked probably about 10 meters away from this line. Jared, you tried your best. It was very quick uh, to, to get it. Well done, though. Yeah, the elephant walked straight past us like it was really quick. Mm -hmm. This male lion looks like he wants to change position. Shame. He's super full. He's not going to lie on his stomach, though. He's too full for that. So he'll lay on his side and he'll lay on his back when he's full like this. Shame, he's still a little bit limpy there, see that? So it's definitely his left leg, uh, yeah, his left leg, front side. Oh, he wants to go to the toilet there, okay. You see how he scratches his hind legs there? So he's actually trying to spread it, because remember, in the urine, there's going to be testosterone. And this is going to be a scent marking. He's also going to go to the toilet, probably. Okay, no, no, he's going to just lie down there. It's funny how they do that. Sometimes they'll lie right next to where they go to the toilet. 
They don't mind. It has definitely been a lucky day for me. Hello, beautiful. Do you know, I would know that face anywhere. It is, of course, Miss Tlalamba, but it's such a recognizable face when you look at all the leopards. I guess they all have recognizable faces, but this one particularly stands out. It was actually called in as a skittish leopard sighting. So Biki and I thought we were coming to Mowati. We just assumed skittish, leopard, Mowati. And believe it or not, she was picked up on elephant carcass. And that's exactly where we were this morning. We heard kudus barking. We looked round, we looked round. But of course, we weren't off-roading this morning because naturally the rains had just stopped and we could only see hyena tracks. So I thought maybe the hyenas are causing the kudu to bark, but no, there was definitely a leopard there. And I think this is who it was. Listening, staring off into the distance, sniffing. That is the direction that the animals you were looking at earlier have gone. Thankfully, that wind is gone. It means, though, that he doesn't have any idea which direction to go. <laughs> He's going to have to go on eyesight. Cosmic Hotspur, you'd like to know how often lions hunt. Well, it really is a much of a muchness, you know, like, oh my word. <laughs> I think that's about as much of a roar as we're going to get from them, everybody. But it's a much of a muchness, you know. I've seen a pride of lions, I've personally seen them hunt six times in one night. And then I left them. Then I left them. Um, they've got a 20% success rate. So they hunt a lot and they miss a lot. Um, so normally in the, the dead of the night is when they hunt. But uh, when conditions are suitable. Also they hunt when they're hungry. And when they feel like there's a chance of catching something. It's not impossible for them to hunt in the middle of the day. But then the opportunity needs to present itself. They are so many drivers or factors behind a lion hunt. Well, my boy, what are you going to find in the wilderness this evening? Hopefully, we can track you down in the morning and maybe there's a few more lions to go. I'd like to see the rest of the kombulas. That would be nice. Well, everyone, it's been wonderful having you joining us this afternoon on the Sunset Safari. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for your comments. It has been really quite a sensational evening. We will be hosting you again tomorrow morning from all of our wonderful locations. We'll see you in the morning. Good night and goodbye.